Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Taurus. Hope you guys are all well. See what's happening. I did put some readings up on Monday, new incoming love, new love prospects. Check those out if this doesn't resonate, okay? Because those readings were focused on what's coming in as you move into the new year. All right, Taurus, let's see where you're at here. Overall energy surrounding Taurus and their love life. Overall energy surrounding Taurus, what do they need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Taurus regarding their love life. Anything else they need to know regarding finance and career? Taurus. Oops, there we go. Wow. Okay. Wow, you're about to get something you want. Looks like a reconciliation. I think somebody is coming in. They're going to say some sweet things, do some sweet things. Someone's reminiscing about you. Okay, it could be somebody you've known a long time ago. It doesn't look like an ex. It actually looks like it actually looks like someone who's waking up to the idea of coming towards you and talking to you. They have sweet feelings. This could be a new crush, okay, coming in. I see your love life. Um, I see a healing, letting go of something, moving forward, letting go of the idea of be careful what you wish for. I feel like you're about to get something you want, and I feel someone's coming to offer you a cup. It's likely somebody you've known a long time ago. It does not have to be an ex. Okay, every time there's a past energy in a reading of a person, it's not always that person you don't want. Sometimes you got people who think about you from a long time ago. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, keep it, always keep an open mind. I have to remind people of that because I'll see in readings that people are going to get these messages from people from childhood, uh, people that they just knew or met a long time ago that kind of sporadically think of them and then they decide to try to contact them. Sometimes, yeah, they have same sun signs, moon sign, rising sign of a person that you knew um, or that you disliked or, you know, somebody that there was a bad connection. But you have to learn to keep an open mind. You can miss a lot of opportunities with people uh, when you do that. So if you get people from the past reaching out, don't be afraid to talk to them. I see somebody reminiscing about you, wanting to come towards you. Feel like they're kind of possibly wondering if you're interested. I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I see Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who's focused on their money, finances, career. They're solid. They're reliable. Yeah, you've got someone who's ready for a relationship, a commitment. They may be thinking about you. Could be a reconciliation, yes, but it's possible possibly could be somebody uh, that's sort of thinking about you. It could be a crush as well, somebody who's waking up to the idea of love. They're kind of be careful what they wish for, okay? This is somebody who knows what they want, but, you know, they're, they're somebody who's ca being cautious. It's got a wishful thinking. They want you, though. They do want to connect. It could be a crush. This is someone who's a leader, someone who's stable financially, self-employed possibly. Uh, they definitely have their finances in order. I feel this person is reliable. Yeah, you're going to get an offer. Could be a new crush, could be an ex. Like I say, please keep an open mind. I, I see so many times in readings where people miss opportunities uh, because you may get somebody who reaches out to you from the past, you have a chit chat and you put it out of your head because you're focusing on that X energy coming back, okay? Always, I see stability, I see reliability, safety, security. I feel some of you are getting a new job as well. You could be going back to another job. You may have another opportunity. Um, a new opportunity with an old employer. Some of you could be revisiting uh, something creative that you were focused on. I feel like you got a lot of drive and a lot of ambition as you move into the new year, Taurus, as well. But I feel it's this person coming in as well. I feel like you have a new offer. Uh, some of you definitely... <laughs> Someone's sweet on you. They think you're adorable. Yeah, this is a leader. You've got someone here who's the leader. They could be an Aries. Okay, so someone who's coming in to take the lead. They, a business owner, someone who's self-made. Um, they may have a bit of an ego. They may be someone who doesn't share a lot of their feelings and emotions right away. Uh, they're definitely solid. And I feel like you're getting a really solid, reliable offer from a King of Wands, Taurus. Yes, the Lord. Beautiful energy, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Sometimes I see, uh, this is like, um, um, 
the emperor type energy okay so this is somebody and this could be yourself because a lot of times i see this as taurus energy too so you may have some really strong boundaries as well but i feel this person's coming towards you they see the possibilities i think they're fantasizing about you they're thinking about you uh, could be an ex or somebody that you dated a long time ago you may have known each other or really when you were kids or teenagers you know college university you're in this person's thoughts they're reminiscing i feel this person someone who's now ready for a, a commitment uh, they're ready to start something with someone they're planting that seed they're not afraid to take the lead they see the possibilities okay they do i feel this person is whew, you may have boundaries of anyone who comes towards you too. You may have this energy around you. You want to make sure somebody has no other options, that you're their only option. But I feel this is um, mostly this person thinking about you, making this choice. Yeah, they may have other options, but they're choosing you, okay? They've made up their mind. You're that person they want to make the offer to. So maybe it's a past energy. We'll see where this person may have had too many options in the past and they you know they may have been a bit of in a playboy lifestyle playgirl whatever the situation man or woman uh, yeah i feel like they're definitely making a decision they want you this person wants you yeah eight of pentacles they're coming in to work things out you may have worked with this person before definitely some of you may have a lot of possibilities and options um, for jobs and future employment okay to have more money some of you are working hard this is someone who will put the work in all right they're not afraid to put the work in uh, i do feel it could be someone you just worked with in the past i think this is somebody who is like when i see this card as rebirth this is somebody who's ready for something new uh, they're letting something go this is someone who may have been kind of a be careful what they wish for kind of energy they only offer one cup nothing more they may have had options in the past they were someone who wasn't ready to settle down well they certainly are now and they got their eye on you okay taurus so keep an open mind nine of cups there we go yeah so this is a single person there's somebody single here they're kind of be careful what they wish for whether you're actually single or not okay so they're going to be looking for information probably to find out they're reminiscing thinking about the good old days they remember you being adorable okay could be someone that you met a year ago uh, you worked with a year ago two years five years who knows maybe as long as eight years tell me about rebirth here we go yeah so you got someone headed your way yeah they're trying to find out if you're still single once they do if you are single and they find that out they're coming in yeah so somebody's moving forward calmly and peacefully they may be moving back to town moving back to your neighborhood as well and you may run into this person interesting yeah they're at a bit of a distance possibly for some of you feel they're learning once they learn what they need they're headed in your direction <laughs> yes beautiful yes they want a new beginning this person's not afraid to express themselves either this is not this is a leader i do see some possible leo possible aries for some of you or they just have that energy yeah this person's uh definitely coming in to have something new oh yes look at that taurus yeah see they want a new beginning with you this person sees you as someone faithful, someone they can have faith in. They know that. They have all the information they need. Oh, they're coming back around. This person's learning everything they need to learn about you. They're, they see you as faithful, reliable, someone who's not afraid to express themselves. They see you as a very happy person. They have happy memories about you when you were children or if you, you know, in the past, if you work together, whatever the scenario so lovely energy yeah they see you as somebody who they see you as educated and smart but there's things that there's more things they want to know they need to get to know you all over again with this rebirth energy this is somebody who's uh, now ready they're leaving something in the past their single life they de definitely need to know if you're single uh, they need some clarity to make sure you're not married or anything like that beautiful so it does look for some of you someone from quite some time ago tell me about the king of wands why is this here there we go yeah Ooh. taurus 
This is somebody you did have a lot of love for in the past. Mm -hmm. You want love. You want someone who reciprocates, though. You will not offer up your cup of love. Your, your energy is not offering up a cup of love until you someone exposes everything. You know what they want. All right. Uh, you, you're very careful. Yeah, but this is someone you loved in the past. You had feelings for. Uh, maybe they were, you know, they had other options. Maybe they weren't very reliable in the past, but they certainly are now. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Yeah, this person's ready for commitment. They're ready for love. You loved this person. You found them very sexy, attractive, charming, charismatic. You might have got your feelings hurt. Maybe things didn't work out with this person in the past for whatever reason, if there was love. You have a lot of feelings for this person, Taurus. But it's a bit of an uphill battle maybe with this person. I feel like they just weren't ready to settle down. Uh, whoever they are, they, they see you as somebody who could make them happy, vice versa. They have a lot of faith. They see you as somebody that they trust. You actually are pointing right at this person. You have faith in this. I think you are. You might have a little trouble. You want to make sure everything, you know, you know everything about this person. You may reminisce, kind of get in your head. You'll be wanting some more clarity. But look at that. They are offering you this love, this cup of love, a very solid, reliable offer. This is a family person. They're likely ready for a family for those of you that are young. Okay. Yeah. See, this person's ready. Ooh, yeah, they're going to reach out probably on social media to talk to you. They may want to take you on a date with some kind of solid offer. It's going to solidify that <laughs> deal there. Yeah, money won't be an obstacle. Yeah, they're manifesting this. This person has all the tools they need. I see Gemini Virgo energy for some of you. I feel this is somebody, yeah, they want to get together, talk to you. I feel they're definitely someone who... They see you as marriage material. They see you as someone they can rely on and have faith in. Uh, they see you as this magician energy. Yeah, see, they're going to manifest this. This person's a manifester. They know what they want. They have all the tools they need. They see you that way too. They have faith in you. They see you as reliable, solid. I feel as though in the past the two of you were on the same page. I do feel like you were, like you may have been just friends. Who knows? Could be an ex-lover. I don't see it. I see it more as somebody who kind of wasn't ready to settle down. You may have got your feelings hurt. You may have offered them love and they didn't. Maybe they had other options. Too many people. Yeah, but they they are coming back to take the lead. They see the possibilities with you. They want to put the work and the effort. They're not afraid of the work and the effort. This could be a, a, a boss too, somebody as well i feel like they're going to try to find out if you have other options if you're seeing anyone else first they're fantasizing a little bit about you they're manifesting this right what they want by giving you the solid offer now this could be a boss coming in or someone you worked with offering you a job if you're looking for one to manifest this love with you as well yes the lord why is this here there we go Oh, yeah, this person's definitely uh, fantasizing. They're making a decision. What This is someone, once they make a decision, they go for it. They put the work in. Uh, they're very focused, very driven. They're not someone who's going to give up on you. Absolutely not. Nope, this person sees a future. They're holding on to you. I feel they're looking. You're going to, I feel as though you're going to be in this energy, or they are, of holding on to see where it goes. They see the possibilities. I feel like they're trying to find out too. They're still looking for information they need to learn as they go. Making sure that you aren't, you don't have other people. They generally see you as someone faithful. Maybe you don't see them as something, somebody faithful in the past. Or you don't have any faith in this person. But you know what? There's some clarity truth. I see a new beginning. I see sun. I see happiness. I think you're going to be very happy to hear from this person. You're going to be pretty emotional about this. I can tell you. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Why is this here? Clarity. There we go. Yeah. So this person's thinking. They're kind of holding back. Uh, they're doing a lot of thinking about their feelings before they make this decision. Once they do, they want to make sure, right, this is something that will work out. They want to make sure you're going to put some work and effort into it. It's going to take both of you here. 
this you may have worked with this person in the past maybe they were a little confused about whether you had other options and it could be vice versa they're coming in they want to work with you you worked with this person possibly in the past feel they're reminiscing they want to put the work in they're going to show you right how they feel because this is someone who's not the most emotional right they want love they have it they have a lot of emotions inside very family oriented person they're ready for that uh, this could actually lead to some kind of an engagement or something too i feel that they may invite you out somewhere uh, to show you um, their stability they may invite you to meet their family maybe some friends or something they might just keep it kind of light maybe you guys knew each other through family and friends in the past yeah you got this offer they're coming in to make you an offer this person's very sweet on you they're going to tell you they think you're adorable they're going to put the work in they're going to show you how much they like you they might buy you something they may even give you a sentimental gift or something very sweet energy yeah they're just kind of holding back making the right decision this is someone who's very careful about the decisions they make but once they make them they go for it they're just looking out at the future right you may too you may so oh, i don't know if i see a future with this person you may hold back and think about it but i think you're gonna i think you got feelings for this person i think you're gonna take the offer especially if it comes with work and then it turns into <laughs> something more which is i think their objective yeah i see an emotional beginning i see a lot of happiness i do think you could have a future with this person yeah there's going to be a lot of talk a lot of communication back and forth between the two of you uh, soulmate connection you're going to talk about the past reminisce kind of get to know each other again you're definitely on the same page this is the one thing this person needs to make sure you're on the same page still if they haven't seen you in a long time so there is some need to talk get to know each other again i feel you're going to have a lot of really good conversations that are going to make you happy while you're reminiscing this is a solid offer this is somebody who will do things to make you happy they'll show you how they feel about you at first uh, by buying you things and doing nice things for you uh, until they're ready like you know they make sure they will you will eventually reciprocate i think you're going to see eye to eye you both might be in that energy taurus okay because sometimes you're not always the most emotional person either about sharing your feelings and just saying it right not all uh, you both have all those emotions inside you're both loving and nurturing you both want someone who reciprocates yeah i see a couple of soulmates reciprocating sharing feelings back and forth beautiful energy tell me about the queen of cups yeah so it does look like a work person it not only does it look like a work person yeah this person's wondering if you'll still feel the same they're wondering yeah they're going to reach out on social media and tell you that they want to talk to you that they've had this huge crush on you possibly for a long time okay it could be an ex i'm not going to say it's not but it looks more like a crush that never went anywhere maybe you didn't you were crazy about them maybe they weren't sure at the time because i do see them being someone who wasn't really ready for a commitment in the past uh, but they've made that decision now they see you as the one they may have had other options in the past they might have been dating a bunch of different people uh, i feel they're letting go of that all that energy you'll definitely kind of hold back and think about it first yeah release any neg if you if there is anything any anything confusing going on between the two of you you'll talk about it maybe you were both confused about each other's feelings for each other or they were confused in the past I mean, it doesn't have to be someone from a, a long yeah see they're taking charge taking control uh, this person's definitely an emperor uh, a leader they're not afraid to take control they will come in and talk to you they will face you this isn't someone who's afraid <laughs> yeah they've made up their mind this is someone who may have been talking to a bunch of other ex-girlfriends boyfriends they connected with from the past i see a little reunion uh, but they're choosing you there could be some kind of a reunion or get together coming up and this person this could be what starts it as well okay i see this working out i see the two of you putting in effort working towards this they they will put the effort in uh, they will reciprocate you're going to reciprocate here back and forth this is two people reciprocating their feelings their thoughts or emotions uh, you're very similar i see soulmate connection but maybe you'll just keep it as friends first to make sure okay 
you're likely not going to just offer up a lot of emotion. I feel as though you've learned from past before this person even comes towards you. I think you've got something you've learned that you're letting go of. And that's not to offer up all your feelings and emotions right away, okay? To make sure this person takes the lead that they show you their feelings, that they're reliable and responsible, okay? Somebody who's ready for commitment. You won't share up all your feelings. You're going to wait to see where it goes. It looks good. So I'm going to pull out some overall energy here, outcome energy for Taurus. Yeah, so see where it goes. Make sure. Don't give this person too much. Don't give them too much. Let them see how generous... They are with their feelings, what they share. I think you're going to, I feel it's going to be very equal. Yeah, especially the feelings. Yeah, look at that. Oh, coming together. There's love. This is something that could blossom and grow. They could be an ex, could be ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, someone you worked with, someone that you were just friends with. Uh, you might have known each other a long time ago. They could be moving, don't forget, back into your neighborhood. Okay, maybe you're moving back to a neighborhood where you lived before and you're going to run into this person. You could very well just run into them somewhere. <laughs> could be actually watch doorways because I see that when people come together out in the public. You might run into this person uh, in a doorway because this is always like archways, doorways. It's markets uh, when you're out shopping, you know, that kind of place thing but this is definitely a very family oriented person this person's ready to start a family and i feel like it's definitely going to move forward yeah seek so be open to this it's saying to seek the answers to learn and get to know each other all over again seeking answers i see joy and stability yes i see clarity and belief i see this butterfly i see a big transformation make sure you get the clarity right i see it this person too getting the clarity make sure that you're clear and they're clear with their intentions i see win or lose this person speaking the truth or coming forward i see success I see changing your focus. Yeah, you're going to start focusing on this person and manifesting on them. If you were focused on somebody else, maybe from your past, you were focused on that and thinking about staying single, you aren't going to be for much longer because this person's coming. So yeah, start to change your focus. Start focusing on the positive. And it could be this person too. They could be changing their focus onto you, taking their focus off of uh, dating other people, whatever that is. I see believing and succeeding, right? That's something to focus on. Believe that you can see that this succeed, this can move forward. I see movement, sixes, moving forward. There's three sixes right here. Uh, getting to know each other. Yeah, there could be a few obstacles to overcome. Okay, I think this person mostly wants to know if you have anyone else first before they come in. They want to know you're single before they come in. Okay, they're kind of be careful what they wish for, but they're hoping that you are. I do feel they'll reach out in social media. They are concerned about competition. Maybe there was competition in the past or something that challenges you need to heal between each other. Okay. Whatever that is, whether it was work-related, to do with other people, this person was somebody, you know, like say King of Wands is someone who kind of likes to play the field for a while till they settle down. I feel that there are some challenges that you can both work on, reminisce, talk about, making sure you reciprocate. Make sure you share your thoughts and feelings with this person, okay? It's really important to not hold back. Look at this person. They know, too. There's something that they're reflecting on. This person may be wondering if you still reciprocate, if you still feel the same in the past. And that could be it. A little challenge that they don't need to overcome. A little bit of an obstacle. They might feel like there's competition. That Maybe you'll be angry at them still. So we'll see. I think the two of you can overcome anything. I do. I feel like this person has a high vibration. Keep positive. Uh, think positive. Don't whoops, Don't try to control the situation. This person too, maybe they're a little controlling. They need to learn to not be controlling and overbearing. Maybe, you know, you shared your feelings for them and in the past or you didn't because of it. But they see, look at that. They're looking for answers. They want to know if you still feel the same. Wow. If you have anyone else or if you'll possibly still feel the same about them. I see eight. I see abundance. Yeah, this person knows. They know not to control. They might have been a bit 
controlling or things may have gotten out of control in the past or they lost control because maybe you went off and you met other people because they didn't share their feelings and you felt that they were seeing people I see that too it's the heart of the reading a lot happened but look at this person coming in there's some kind of an event and offer it's stable it's reliable they're manifesting you this person's a manifester you may have manifested this too by holding back and not sharing your feelings uh, as this person comes in if it is a reconciliation i feel like you're kind of going to sit like this until you know exactly where this person stands so don't try to control it raise your vibration okay let it shine i think this person this is very positive let go of negative energy whatever you do this person's a leader they're coming in to take control they want to release and heal they're letting go maybe of a controlling nature maybe they were too controlling in the past kind of wanted everything their way uh, they certainly are going to let go of that now. If they want to have any possibility with you at all, they definitely know they have to. I see them reflecting on the past to do with that for some of you, not all of you. So I wish you guys the best. Keep a positive mind. Raise that vibration. Think positive. Uh, share all your feelings with this person back and forth and see where you stand. It could really go somewhere. So take care. Bye for now.